Okay, good morning everyone and once again welcome back to the channel. So today I'm here at Brookwood Trout Farm. I'm um, not for a full day session. Um, I've got about half the day that I can fish before I need to get home. So yeah, um, had the time so I thought why not use it to come out and do some fishing. Um, I must say um, that weather wise uh, temperatures have changed completely since a month ago. It's now, yeah, mornings are really cold. At least during the day it heats up a little bit, but yeah, um, we're in autumn now, not completely winter yet, even if even though it feels like winter. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's just in the mornings, it's nice and cold. So yeah, hoping to get a bite today. And yeah, and then also you guys will see that um, on my social media and so on earlier uh, in the week, I mentioned that I'm gonna do a thousand rand um, tackle giveaway, a voucher from Fiskas. Um, I'll explain a bit more later on that, but for now the rods are in. Um, it's about 10 to 7 now, uh, nice and misty, lots of fog on the water and so on. So yeah, hopefully I catch something. Like I said, only here for half, of, half the day. And yeah, let's get back to the rods. So I quickly want to show you guys, um, if you remember a few videos back uh, when I was fishing at Kloofsig at the Bass Dam, I had a lot of hook pulls and then yeah, I had a whole thing about rethinking about my rigs and how I put them together and so on and yeah, and some of you guys also commented and gave advice and so on and I took all of that advice to heart. Now I quickly want to show you guys, I did make some few changes and so far it's been working. So the top one you'll see over here, this is how my rigs used to look. Um, I still actually use it as it is like this, um, especially when I fish two fake maize. So there you'll see the top one, um, this is a size, what's it, size 4 hook. Um, and then with the micro swivel, swivel at the top, but then there was no kicker. So that was the top one over there. Now the other two is then the adjusted rigs with a micro kicker, not a big one, I don't want a too big one, um, otherwise I feel it's, it closes my hook too much. Um, as you guys know, I fish with uh, wide cape hooks. So yeah, there you can see it, um, where I changed it and put on a small little kicker, and then I can use it as it is as well if I want to fish a pop-up as well, and then the middle one actually is then when I fish bottom baits. So this is also then my go-to rig, um, it's just a plain and simple German rig, nothing fancy about it. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys some feedback on what I changed to my rigs and then so far it's been working. Um, only had that one hook pull the other day. Um, but yeah, uh, just like I said, thought I'd show you guys that I do take the advice that you give, I take it to heart and I think about everything. So yeah, there it is my adjusted rigs. Okay, so it's 10 to 11 now. So I've got about three hours left in the session. Yeah, and as you guys can see, there's not much to show <laughs> for the time I've been here. Um, yeah, not a lot of activity on the water or anything. Had a walk around the venue as well. Um, couldn't really see any carp in the margins or anything, but yeah, uh, there's still time left. A lot can happen in three hours, so yeah, but when you're fishing like half a day like I am, you're fishing for that one bite. <laughs> Just to land one um, carp would be nice. So yeah, um, but yeah, let's see what happens. Um, I'm fishing in the margins as well. Two rods in the margins and one rod out in the middle. So yeah, let's see what happens. Last three hours.
Okay, um, <clears throat> that's the session done. Unfortunately, it ended in a blank, um, but it happens. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just hope it's not the same as my uh, winter season last year where I barely caught anything and it wasn't, wasn't from a lack of trying. But yeah, okay guys, thanks for watching. Um, now, if you do want to know how to enter the competition um, for that lucky draw for the 1,000 Rand gift voucher, um, keep watching. The next clip will explain everything. Okay, um, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I told you guys I'll give you some more information on how you can win um, that 1,000 Rand tackle voucher from Fiskas. Um, so yeah, um, me having this YouTube channel and everything, and you guys know that, you know, being a YouTuber or having an account, um, my the success of my account relies on, you know, you the viewers. Um, the amount of videos you watch, the time you spend watching, and specifically the ads that you watch. Now, uh, just, well, I think it was last year, October, November, somewhere, uh, my account got monetized. So that basically means that I can start earning um, an income from, um, from YouTube. Now, a lot of people think if you have a YouTube account and you monetize, you're gonna get thousands of rands. <laughs> but believe me, um, that's not the case. Um, so how it works with YouTube is um, in South Africa they only pay out after you reach a threshold of a thousand rand. Now that's more or less 54, 55 US dollars that you have to earn in ad revenue. And believe me that's a lot of views to get there. Um, so currently I'm very close to that 1000 rand um, th uh, threshold where I can get my first paycheck from YouTube. But the thing is um, I want to say thank you to all my viewers and all the people that subscribe to my account and I thought the best way of saying thank you is um, is by taking that first paycheck and then buying a thousand rand voucher from Fiskas and then I'm gonna um, yeah I'm gonna put it up for grabs um, on my YouTube account so where one of my subscribers or someone that enter the competition that watches the video can actually stand the chance to win that first, well, a thousand rand tackle voucher or bait, whatever you want to use it for. So it's just my way of, you know, saying thank you. Um, thank you for the support. Thank you for watching the videos. Um, I really appreciate it. And a lot of you guys actually interact uh, where I've received messages on YouTube, um, on my Instagram account, even on my TikTok account. Um, yeah, where you guys have asked questions or you know, you just reached out and you said thank you, thank you for the for the videos, and you really enjoy watching it. So, this is me just saying thank you again. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, so I'm very close to that 1,000 um, rand um, check that I'm going to receive, but I'm not going to keep it for myself. I'm going to give it back to you, the viewers. Okay. So, how do you enter? So. I've thought about this, but then I think I'm not going to make it too easy for you guys. <laughs> well, it's actually not that difficult to enter. So, on my YouTube channel, there's two videos um, of my daughters catching their PBs. Um, and actually, both of them were here at Brookwood Trout Farm. So, what I want to know from you is, what is Emma's PB and what is Mia's PB carp? And you'll find it in two different videos. Um, so go watch the videos and then send me a message on, on what their PBs are and where do you send it to? So you can either send it to me on my Instagram account, so send it through a direct message and then um, other thing you can do is in my YouTube channel in the about section you'll find an email address. It's uh, carpadventuresouthafrica at gmail.com. So just go check it out. It's there. The link is there and everything. So you can send the answer through to the, to the email account or direct message on my Instagram account. And then, yeah, just tell me what's Emma's PB, what's Mia's PB um, for carp then specifically. And yeah, just provide your name, surname and a telephone number um, in the, with your answer so that I can contact you. And then as soon as I reach that 1,000 Rand uh, paycheck, um, I'm, I'll have a draw. Um, it's going to be a random draw. I'll use one of those apps where you can put everyone's name or their numbers in a wheel and the wheel spins and it will select the winner. So it's not me pulling a name and then, uh, no, I don't know this person or no, I'd rather give it to that person or anything. So I'm going to put it in there and then, yeah, um, 
luck's going to decide if you're the winner or not. So yeah, um, if you want to enter then that's how you enter and yeah, that's basically it. So just me saying thank you to all the viewers and subscribers um, for watching my videos. But I have to mention, unfortunately, about third of, a third of my subscribers and a third of the people that watch the video is in the UK and other countries. Unfortunately, um, I can't give this voucher to you guys. In any case, if you convert the thousand rand back to euros or pounds, it's, gonna, <laughs> it's hardly going to be anything. Um, I think it might be, I don't know what the exchange rate is now, but maybe 20, 30 pounds worth, um, more or less. I'm not too sure, like I said, I'm not too sure what the exchange rate is. But yeah, so for my South African viewers, um, this is me then, my way of saying thank you for your support. And yeah, too many more views.